Well, community activists are now calling for a Harris County Precinct 1 deputy to be fired after video shows that deputy interacting with a group of cyclists at one point appearing to break check part of that group. Precinct 1 says this incident is under investigation by Internal Affairs. ABC 13's Courtney Carpenter is live in the Heights after hearing from one of the cyclists, Courtney, who captured video of all of this happening. Yeah, Chauncey and Mata, the exchange happened right here at North Main in Cavalcade last Thursday night. And you know, these big group bike rides, they're supposed to be fun. But the cyclist I spoke to today says after what happened, he was shocked and scared. Alan Rosen, you better fire him. Today, community activist Quan LX and Dr. Candace Matthews with the Rainbow Push Coalition stood outside of the Harris County Precinct 1 office calling for one of their deputies to be fired after an incident with a group of cyclists last Thursday night. If you leave him on the force, what will he do next? He's clearly shown that he's not emotionally fit to handle the wearing the badge. In this video taken by one of the cyclists, you can hear the patrol car's brakes screech to a stop as it appears the deputy brake checked the group. Whoa! The cyclist who filmed the video doesn't want his name used after he says he's received online threats after posting it to social media. The man says the deputy also cut across lanes of traffic to drive in the lane where the cyclists were supposed to be and says he doesn't feel they received a lawful command from the deputy. I just think that this was inappropriate behavior for a deputy and needs to be investigated. And and frankly, I, I'm, I'm, I'd be surprised if there shouldn't be criminal charges pressed against him because I feel like the way he used his vehicle was an unlawful use of force. Right. Precinct 1 Constable Alan Rosen released a statement about the incident that says in part, quote, after viewing the deputy's dash cam video, which is now under investigation, it appears both parties, the deputy and the cyclists on scene, were not conducting themselves in a safe manner. A claim a man who was there says is not true. There's about 150 people there that are on their bikes at night, and 99.999% of them were driving in, a, in accordance with the law, and this deputy just freaked out. Constable Rosen went on to say in that statement he'll take appropriate action once the investigation is complete if the deputy's conduct was not consistent with departmental policies. I confirm with Precinct 1 today that internal affairs investigation is ongoing and there has been no change to the deputy's work status. Reporting live here in the Heights, Courtney Carpenter, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.